Hello, welcome once again to my channel. Uh, in today's uh, video, we are going to do something a bit different from what uh, we've done in the previous ones. In my previous videos, I, we took some steps to deploy uh, resources in um, AWS using Terraform. But in this tutorial, we are going to do something exactly the same as we did with AWS, but now in Azure just to try, uh, kind of identify the difference uh, between the two of them. In this tutorial, we are going to, uh, uh, first of all, deploy um, a resource group. A resource group, as you know, is kind of a container where you can deploy other resources. For instance, to deploy our web application as we did earlier, we are going to have a resource group. So in the, inside that resource group, we are going to deploy all the things that are related to the, uh, to the website. So the resource group will host all these resources together, which means that when we are no longer interested in the website, we can just delete the resource group and everything related to the website will be gone. What we are going to do is to uh, create our resource group using Terraform. We can also go on and create our resource group using the web interface of Azure. Let's proceed. Now, I already created a file in, um, uh, in Studio, in Visual Studio. You can use any other uh, uh, development environment that you want. So what I'm going to do now is to, let's first of all, uh, go to the Terraform uh, Providers Registry. So when you get to the homepage, you can just go to Azure and Documentation. And here we've got everything that we need. We've got more than we need actually here, but we are going to just pick what we need uh, for the resource that we want to create. The first thing we need to copy would be, or let, let's just copy everything and uh, go back to Visual Studio and paste it there. Everything is well uh, explained here. So this place, uh, this section is uh, kind of, uh, is to kind of point out what version of Azure that we want to use. This section is to provide, or rather to mention the provider. As you can see, we are using uh, Azure here. In the previous video, we used AWS. We used AWS and, um, but obviously, we are using Azure today. So um, we are not going to need this, not yet. We have already discussed what this one does. The next thing that we need would be the resource for the resource group that we want to create. This line we may not need, not important. It is very necessary to have this uh, provider and then the features. These features, you can leave it open, but it is necessary. This feature uh, section is just where if you have some, where you could mention the default um, arguments, uh, for instance, that you want. But for now, we are going to leave it open. As time goes on, we are going to uh, populate our resource group with all the uh, things that we need. Here, you can just call this whatever you want. I could just call my uh, mine resource group. You can call this whatever you want. My resource group. This is uh, this you have to pick this from um, if you don't 
you can choose whatever you want if you're not sure what location that you need. Or if you want to change the location, you can just look up different uh, locations, regions, for instance, in, um, on an Azure website. In fact, I'm going to show you how you could find this. As you can see on this website, you can see all the uh, you can see some of the regions and availability zones that uh, Azure has. You can pick one from here, whichever one suits you best. I could just copy this West Europe and um, use it in my code. Okay, I already have West Europe here, but you can just uh, uh, change this to whatever you want. So once you have this open, or once you have this all, uh, ready, we are going to save it and then run our um, Terraform. Now I am, uh, uh, that's my terminal. Let me first of all see what I've got here. That's our code. The next thing that we need to do is to first of all install our Azure CLI. That's how we will be able to connect to our environment using the terminal. In order to do that, I need to first of all check my, I haven't got that. I was trying to check the Azure version that I've got. So to install the uh, CLI, since I'm using Mac, I'm going to check uh, my brew version. Let me make sure that I've got that. I've got home blue. You know, now I'm going to install my Azure CLI. It's going to take a moment. It appears that our uh, installation has completed. The next thing we need to do, um, first of all, let me clear the screen and uh, let's check this again. So this shows that our Azure CLI is installed. Let's try to log into the environment. So let's allow, this will typically open a new browser. I'm going to log in. Too many requests. Let's find out why it says too many requests. So I think I'm logged in on a different computer at the same time. Maybe that's the reason. But let's try and find out. Let me try and uh, run this code as instructed here.
I know I'm logged in at uh, different places. Yes, I was um, using a different computer uh, earlier. Okay, so what I need to do, I'm just going to copy this. As you can see, there is a code. So I'm going to go on this site and log in using this code here. Let me paste it here. And then go back and grab my code. I just paste the code there. I'm already signed in now. So let's go back here. And as you can see, everything looks fine. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to execute our code. Let's see what we've got. And um, to start, let us run our Terraform uh, init to initialize our code. This seems to be fine. Let's validate our code. Everything is fine. Now let us um, um, not apply. Let us plan. This is typically where you find error if uh, something is missing in the code. If this is successful, then everything should be fine. Everything seems fine. So this is basically similar to what we did uh, using, uh, in our AWS. As you can see, we've got a couple of things that are going to, uh, to be applied. So we have one thing to, uh, to add, nothing to change, and nothing to destroy. Let us go on and now apply. It's going to ask if we really want to do this. Let's say yes. So the output here is similar to what we saw earlier when we ran the uh, Terraform plan. Just that now we are going to confirm that we want to apply this. As you can see, apply complete. One resource was added. Nothing changed. Nothing got destroyed. So let's go back to Azure. As you can see, nothing was here. Let's refresh. Yeah. So that's the resource that we just created now, our resource group. Let's go there. Obviously, it's empty. If you want, maybe we can also try to create this using uh, using in a, uh, the uh, Azure portal. All you just need to do is to search for um, um, what's the name? Just search for resource group. We already have one here. If you wanted to create it using the portal, you just go on uh, create. You type the name. Let's say new resource. You choose your zone or region, sorry. So I could just choose something here, maybe the same region as I had. If you want, you could also populate these things here, tags, and then review and create. If everything looks good, just create. Now, as you can see, we've got your resources. What we are going to do now that we that have completed our uh, resource, crea uh, resource group creation, we can go back and remove it. Terraform destroy. 
It's a good idea to destroy um, the resources after creation in order not to incur uh, in order not to be charged. So this is going to take quite a couple of minutes. So as this goes on, so what we are destroying is the one that we created using Terraform. I could just go on and also delete this. Let us delete. You know what? Let me copy this. I think there was a mistake there. Yeah. So we can delete this. When we refresh it, you are going to find that that resource group is gone. Okay. So the other one that we got, uh, we were destroying here is already destroyed. So let us just write yes to make sure that everything got destroyed. So in this tutorial, we have uh, used Terraform to create a resource group. In the future ones, we are going to create other resources that we are going to need, including our visual machine and the visual network and security groups. See you then. Thank you.